Downingtown, Pennsylvania is home to a number of urban legends, the most infamous of all being the Gates of Hell. The gates were located off of Sawmill Road, a dirt road that runs deep through the woods. And allegedly, they led to the site of a horrible tragedy. Today, we're going to explore the legend behind the Gates of Hell. It's been said that in the 1950s, a man lived on a large property out in the woods, along with his wife and children. The man was mentally unstable, and would one day succumb to a fit of rage in which he killed his entire family. The man hung their bodies from the red gates at the bottom of their driveway before he killed himself as well. For half a century, the property sat in the woods unattended and countless thrill-seekers have made their way through the vast woods to find the abandoned property. The property consisted of a set of large gates next to Sawmill Road, located by a dark, desolate lake. Behind the gates was a mile-long driveway, and at the end of it sat a large, two-story house. A shed, a marble pool, and a garage were also near the house. It's been said that the family was buried somewhere on the property, though this is unconfirmed. Early satellite images show that the property was intact 15 years ago. But by June of 2004, a new neighborhood went under construction, and the abandoned property was destroyed. The house and the surrounding structures were all torn down, leaving only bricks and large clearings before houses and streets were built in their place. The pool and driveway were torn up from the ground, and the gates themselves were also removed and replaced with giant rocks to prevent cars from heading up the driveway. But, as expected, that did little to dissuade curious teenagers. Even today, many people still go searching for the house. But instead, they find a large neighborhood. No gates, no abandoned houses, nothing. Hey man, you can't find this house anywhere. I'm frustrated. Today, a dark still lake is the most prominent remainder of the property. It's surrounded by a rusty fence, which in some areas has been repaired, while other spots are fitted with old barbed wire. Though the lake is a mile away from where the house was, it's no less creepy than the rest of the area. The alleged dark history of the property would lead to an unsettling future. Colts, Satanists, and the Mafia are all said to have met on the property when it was intact. Many people would visit the property at night, a legend states that if you drove your car past the gates, it wouldn't start again until you were out of the driveway. Thrill seekers on the property have recounted seeing lights inside the abandoned house and being chased by people in hoods. We can't find the gates anyway, and now we're just at this lake. Oh, this was the lake on our property. We're actually getting pretty close. Trust me. Wait. Shh. You? Shh. Yeah. Yo, I think it's come from over there. What are you doing out here? You're not welcome here. I got him on Jordan. We need to get out of here. <laughs> so this is where they put new hoods a few years ago. Based on these satellite images, we determine the exact location of the house on what is now Parker Drive. I think it's time to go searching. Our first stop is where the legend began, where the gates of hell once stood. Well, neither of our cars are going to get through there. No sign of the gates either. The driveway is gone. The only sign of it is the large clearing that stretches through the woods. Our next stop is the lake, which is right by where the gates were. Pardon me, Alex. We have arrived at the lake. This 
So as far as we know, there's no legend behind this place. It's just a sketchy looking lake sitting on the property. It's time for our last stop, where the house used to be. None of this was here 15 years ago. There were only trees before the area was cleared out. Only over the last five years were all these houses built. Here is the original location of the house. And across the street is a small stone wall. Based on parts of this footage, we can confirm that the wall was part of the property and that it once sat next to the pool. So that gives us a reference point, right? Now we know exactly where the house used to be. And the dip in the ground. That's where the pool must have been, right? While looking around the area, we spoke to a resident who lives right by where the property once was. I was out here one day and an older gentleman was walking around the yard. So I came over and said something to him. He said his name was Dr. Like Zarelli, whatever's on that sign over there. His parents bought the property in 1949, 290 acres. His father sold that property in 2002, I think it was, Bentley Homes. And they built this basically a couple years ago. These trees here, we planted them back in about 49. The pool was here, and you can tell by if you end up going out in the front yard, you can see what's left to some cables. Really? For the pool, we had. He said the house, I think, was abandoned. So, do you know if there was actually a murder that happened at this house? You know, I heard that. They used to call it Gates of Hell when I was in yeah. high school. Yeah. But I don't know anything other than that. They said there was a murder there, and that's all. The resident knew a lot about the property, and though he was familiar with the legend, he didn't actually know if there was a murder that occurred here. Looking around the area, we found remains of the original property, now reduced to old cinder blocks and bricks. exactly where the house was. Now, there's nothing left. Sixty years later, the legend of the Gates of Hell lives on, even though the original property is gone. And speculation looms as to whether or not a murder truly took place here. Sawmill Road is a very strange place, and there's no denying that odd things go on here all the time. What is left of the property is a mere shadow of what it once was. But the legend is sure to live on for generations to come. <laughs>